So, first question for you, do you use the word no differently now after making this movie? <laughs> uh, no, fortunately, I, ha I think I, I haven't uh, until now. I hadn't thought about it, but now that you tell me, maybe I will. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, I think it's, uh, it's I mean, I... I it is an interesting thing that they that they the situation that they were in these guys in 1988. You know, they were given the word no to make it uh, a positive. You know, they were given a, a no to uh, to fight against something, and uh, and it was very difficult to add something to the no. You know, or to make it a positive kind of happy message because a no is a negative, of course. And, and but they managed to turn it around. They 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 accomplished it. What, I guess, surprised you the most that you didn't already know when you kind of got into this story? Well, I didn't know how the role that um, publicity played in this campaign. I had no idea about it. And very few people know about it. Uh, other than Chileans, I think nobody knew. I mean, it's, uh, it was a very, uh, a very f an incredible feat that, uh, that they accomplished. And, uh, and when you look at the role that publicity played, it is really interesting to see how it was a it was a key thing to uh, to make people go out and vote and validate this election by by overwhelmingly winning against the yes campaign even though they tried as hard to make this campaign not uh, i mean th this election to rig it and to to change its result uh, it was so overwhelming that that uh, that they had to accept it the oscar nomination uh, huge for this film uh, what do you hope that nomination does for the film? Well, I hope that there's a big no being shouted, you know, when they say, and the winner is no, you know, it's like, that's going to be really weird. No. <laughs> Will you be, you'll be standing there on Oscar day and you'll be shouting? Weeks. I'll be shouting no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. <laughs> no, yes. No, yeah, I, I hope so. I hope that I'm there and, uh, and, I mean, what it gives is the, it gives a chance that this film is seen in many other parts of the world, you know, and, and that it give it gives it a huge push and a big life to it, and uh, and you know, you know, who knows where this will take us? I mean, it's it's fantastic when thing, things like this happen. We're very happy. <laughs> Hay que ser más creativos, carajo. Hay que darle la vuelta a esto. A mí la democracia me parece entretenida. Producto alegre, si tú lo planteas. ¿sí? Estamos utilizando un lenguaje publicitario, pero armando un concepto político detrás. Porque sin la dictadura. ¿Qué chucha hace un mimo en medio de mi película? La oportunidad que tenemos de derrocar a la dictadura. Are you a persuasive guy? Would you, would you make for a good marketer, lobbyist? Oof. No, man, because I, I sometimes think out loud and uh, part of selling an idea is not to, not to, uh, to, or maybe yes, I mean, nowadays, I mean, look, right now I'm contradicting myself, so therefore I don't know if I would be a, <laughs> You're marketing this movie right now. In, in a way, in a way, but in a different way, because I think the film, um, I know that my product has value. <laughs> that it's valued a lot, you know, so it speaks for itself. I don't have to, to, to sell it, in a way. What do you make of kind of the political landscape of today versus back then? Have we really changed all that much? Because I, I feel like similar things still happen yeah. today. What do you make of that? Well, what's interesting is that this is perhaps one of the genesis of of how the strong kind of broad political uh, publicity uh, tools were used in a political election, uh, not only in Chile, in the world. You know, it's one of the most uh, 
even though politics is not, I mean, is not separated from, from publicity, of course. I mean, they were the ones that kind of invented publicity. Uh, but, uh, but, but, uh, but modern day publicity, which kind of offers something from a sun in a sunset in a beautiful terrace or something, and it's kind of, you know, aspirational and stuff, uh, without without a meaning in a way, uh, is something that we're living in nowadays. I mean, because we don't, as opposed to those days where we would kind of um, not only understand but also believe in some press, some candidate saying we will change the world, we will change the country, we will. No, no. Nowadays, if we hear somebody say that, we go, yeah. yeah. It's not that easy, you know, and, and so we're less gullible in that sense, but uh, but but uh, politics is still trying to find um, uh, a more sophisticated way of doing the publicity because they are kind of uh, they run out of um, of cr we we lost credit on 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 the publicity language in a sense with with politics. Awesome. Thank you so much. No Muchas gracias. gracias. No, 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 no.